Welcome to my lecture online. At first, when you look at this problem, you may be a bit confused. But then, if you realize and you can see through the problem what they're asking for, you might say, oh, I know the answer very quickly. It takes you 30 seconds, and you can move on. Let's see if you catch on to the same thing that I'm seeing. All right, they give us the cross product between two vectors, P cross Q, and they tell us that it's equal to Q cross P. Well, if that's the case, then the angle between the two vectors, P and Q, is theta, where theta must be somewhere between 0 and 360 degrees. Notice it does not include 0, and it does not include 360 degrees. The value of theta will be, so what is the, va the value of the angle required to make this equal to one another? Because we know that the cross product of P cross Q cannot be equal to Q cross P. What is the difference between the two? Well, essentially, they simply point in opposite directions. So, what we can say, however, is the following. We know that P cross Q, and let me use different letters just so that we don't get confused. So, I will write it in a more general sense. We should know that A cross B is equal to the negative of B cross A. The magnitudes will be the same because the magnitude of the cross product, A cross B, is simply equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the sine of the angle between them. But if we express it in terms of a vector product, we know that the one is the negative of the other because simply, in one case, the vector product will point in one direction, and if we reverse the two vectors, it will point in the opposite direction. Same magnitude, just opposite direction. So that cannot be the case unless, one thing, unless the sine of theta equals zero, because then we know that zero equals zero. So the only way that can happen is if we have an angle theta that makes the sine of that angle zero, because then we have zero equals zero. So this is only true in one case and one case only when the sine of theta equals zero. So, when is the sine of theta equals zero? Well, there's only two places where this is the case. When theta equals zero, or when theta equals 180 degrees. So, since theta equals zero does not fall within the range given, then the only solution is that theta must therefore equal 180 degrees, because that means that the sine of 180 is zero, and yes, then the two vector products will indeed be equal to each other because they're both zero, and that is how it's done. It cannot be because... Know, it's already can't be zero already. Right, zero, 360, or yeah, yeah, that's right, yep. 360 is also not a good candidate, which is act the same as zero. Yep, that is it. So, that can be done quickly.